Hi everyone. A quick um, pickup video for Sunday, the twenty sixth August two thousand and seventeen. I went to a one of these large car boot cells um, held in a big field near Uxbridge in Middlesex. So. I saw their uh, website and things like that, so impressed with it, went in there and okay, it was quite large, there was a lot of people there, a lot of vendors, but I wasn't impressed with the quality of stuff. Here is a mixture of, from, pick up from Oxbridge. Uh, the field car boot and one in North London uh, they hold it in a school area called Stoke Newington so the mixture of both um, the Stoke Newington one was held on uh, the bank holiday Monday so I'm going to go through them and these are the ones things I picked up from Axbridge one, the usual uh, PS3 games. Now some of these games uh, are paid 50p, some are pounds, and one vendor was first of all asking for three video tapes, for three games for a pound, then he decided to offer me uh, five games for a pound, so I took a few of those. You can't go wrong, can you? With, when somebody's offering you five PS3 games for a pound, there's no way you can go wrong, can you? So I picked them up there. Again, I've also picked up PS2 games for 50p. I wanted to sim and PC games down there and this is quite interesting a Batman sort of spinning spinning Batman he flies so what you do you twist uh, a lever here and you put the Batman on top of this and then twist the Batman so when it clicks and you pull the the string the side here and he flies um lady wanted five pound i i bought her into paying three pound for it i've seen them going for about 14.95 there we go um here a garden shed solar power light paid a quid for it may use it myself or put it up for I think I've checked them out. Uh, the new ones about 14, 15 quid, so I don't know. If I were to put it, I'll put about seven to eight pound. Again, a couple of Wii games here. Um, Star Wars Force, Call of Duty 3. Now these are paid. I think I, you know, I'd like to pay 50p, but world is not like this, so I paid pound each for them right here I've sold a couple of those before so it's a quick sell Papa Pig uh, alphabetical musical kind of a laptop type of stuff let's turn it on and it makes all this uh, basically early learning for youngsters Yeah, that's great. Uh, I think um, they used to go on for 12, 13 quid. I've recently seen them down to eight pound. I think I'm gonna put roughly about 10 quid. Now, here, I'll pick this puppet. 
I had to clean it up a bit. It's quite good condition. Uh, paid a pound. Again, 11, 12 quid back. Um, managed to pick uh, a set of Dora the Explorer and DVDs. Uh, I haven't checked them out. And I paid two pounds for the lot. So I don't know how much they're going for. I guess probably be looking about 15 quid there. Now, a couple of Xbox games. Now, this is quite interesting because I've already sold one of the Tony Hawks Underground 2. I had the other ones, I sold it straight away, so I see how that goes. And back of here, I, I got a, a Sony um, radio alarm clock. I remember I've sold one of these, I think, last year. Um, I need to clean it up a bit. I don't know, I paid £3. I'm looking to get about 16, 17 pound back on that one. Up here, these uh, I've I've hardly pick up any children toys, but these ones uh, I sold them before, so I know they sell. Kind of like a drummy. Yeah, plays music, goes round. So this, uh, and here it's the same thing again. Early Learning Center. Let's pick it up. Put that on top of this. This is another one of these Early Learning Center toy. I, uh, it needs batteries. Absolutely brilliant condition. Fantastic, fantastic condition this one. Now, I sold them before. Um, I don't know how to check it out, so I paid a pound, probably again 14-15 pound range. Right, so next bit, I've noticed this um, PS2 game stand, you know the game stand. or cassette holder or video game holder I had one last year and I managed to drop it and smash it I think the stand on itself goes for about 14 to 15 mil without the games to combine the game and the stand I'm looking to flog about 20 quid 20 25 now here the lady wanted pound per game to look at the stickers still there one pound per game stand for three pound so I had one two three four seven games and a stand so it's ten quid I I just made an offer of five quid and they accepted it and there we go I just bought that here I found a very interesting large um, Uh, coffee mug of 3D um, ESO from uh, one of the one of the Pro series. Yeah, this little T 3D excellent condition. Now uh, it's a brilliant. This don't have any chips or any damage, any crack, nothing like this. Paid 50p. Probably get eight quid back on those. The next bit uh, again, all these children games, VTEC, easy to sell. I don't know how much they cost. I yet to sell one of those before, so I'm gonna have a go at it and see what happens there. The next thing I got interesting here is to game of Jenga game, Jenga or Jenga, the wooden block game. Now both of them are in great condition. 
Now one of them actually is good condition and it's still in his uh, they played a few times already so the box is a bit dented here now well, hopefully the, all the pieces is in uh, paid three quid so that's a slightly notice the, uh, the box is slightly bent here so that'll be alright so they are going for about 14-15 quid and this is another Jenga Jenga or Jenga now this one has you be saying why is one a color uh, slightly brighter than the other one this one probably exposed to the sunlight somewhere they left it somewhere sunlight but the interesting thing about this one is the game is intact inside look the game is they never played it so it's still in a wrapper the box or the jar may be discolored but the product inside is absolutely brand new they haven't even take, been taken out from the wrapper so that's fantastic all right okay let's move that all a bit now here uh, the usual the shoe collection a uh, pair of adidas high top uh, ladies uh, size 6 um, paid three quid I'm not sure how much because I haven't sold any Adidas before so I'll put up roughly about say 20 21 20 20 between 22 and 24 quid uh, see how that I go along with this one now, this is quite interesting um, Air Force One Nike Air Force One and the interesting thing about this is the size is awesome so this is like size 12 you know I don't often get size 12 and uh, does have a lot of fading and you have a split here and it's been worn but they still have a great life left in them you know inner soles okay need a bit of cleaning I guess so I gotta do a bit of cleaning on those uh, I remember last year I think I sold a couple of pair of these same size so I be after the cleaning and making it look good I'll be looking for a brown roughly yeah within 22 24 quid possibly more now this is very interesting because here we have a pair of timberland oak uh, like a um, wheat color ladies boot size six or six and a half um, condition is very good uh, absolutely it does have few few scuffs scuffing mark here in the back of it and um, I see some um, fading the, the leather here on the top of it um, that shouldn't stop only well, needs a bit of slight cleaning and um, hopefully that should go for about 33-34 pounds uh, 35 I'll put on the high end 30-40 quid and see how they go along these are new ones you're looking at 170 pound easily here yeah, pair of Nike Air Max ladies um, the thread is brilliant looks uh, just need a bit of clean uh, looks awesome now size I think that's how the size is this 
SpaceX. Uh, it's a good pair of trainer here. I paid she wanted six quid and I just paid her six quid without any any sort of um hackling you don't need I didn't do need to I thought this was six quid. Now in this this is a pair of um Nike hair yeah, S called Nike Air Max Ultra Mio or spell M O I R E Moyo or Mio. They're about hundred and twenty five pound brand new. It's very good condition. Needs a bit of cleaning on our roll is Absolutely perfect condition. The threads are good. Everything is good. Um, again, the guy who I bought it from. Um, obviously, there's a bit of dirt there. Um, I don't know how much they're selling. If I were to put it up, I would put about 40 quid, 39 95 probably more. I've seen them going for that price, but I may keep it for myself, so there you go. And here I haven't picked up for a long time books because I don't tend to sell any more books because I notice books are really dead seller unless you got a good quality books and people don't and don't sort of buy books. Uh, this is interesting. I picked up a couple of Harry Potter books because I sold them before. And this is the the first edition of Harry Potter and the Deadly Deadly Hollow. This is the first edition book. And um, now. I paid five five of these books. I paid six quid for them, and I I'm not sure. I'm going to check it out whether to sell it separately, just this one, the first edition, or do a bundle. I know I tend to do a bundle of Harry Potter, so I probably do a bundle of these lot together. I don't know. Last time I sold them for about fourteen quid or fifteen quid. But the thing is, when you sell books, like these Harry Potter books, and when you bundle them together, the weight, you know, you have to consider the weight of the books. It's well and good selling books, so sometimes without realizing, you know, you add a couple of books and they, the weight will be over 5 kilos. And then you're stuck because the post posting of those books will be very expensive. Anything less than two kilos, you're looking at two two eighty two two less than two ninety. I think two eighty two I think with the uh, uh, post office. But with how much you're looking at about three pound nineteen I think like something like that. So you have to be careful when you list books. Make sure you weigh them and then you put the price because usually here I can see it's over two and a half kilo already in weight. So if it goes over to two, two kilos, you're looking at about five quid to post those books. So make sure when you're selling books, make sure they you weigh them up first before you start making your bundles. Again, um I don't sell much of this but because I like this there's a uh, I picked up a, a bundle of Ladybirds series books uh, so it's I think about 10 of them here I paid 2 quid it's nice to get a bundle of Ladybirds uh, I'll be looking about 14 to 15 pound back on that one
Oh, um, recently I stopped. Uh, recently uh, I stopped buying board game, but because it's, we are approaching Christmas time, I decided I'm going to start selling board game for now. So I picked up a few. This one called High Face. I don't know how you play it, but I, I've noticed you have a machine type of things. You need to put your face through it, like a plastic mold, and then you put warp, warping cream, warping cream on top of the the hand, and you just smash it on the face and splash it on your face. I think they're going for about twelve, fourteen quid. Uh, and I paid a pound for that again. Catchphrase checked it out for the popular 12 13 quid complete game there. And I've sold a few of those before, so it's an easy pick up. Scrabble Junior Scrabbles, yeah, it's all in there. And uh, I, I knew one I picked up, Pluto. I sold uh, one of these. Uh, last year, mm, so I just picked this one up, paid two quid for it. How full it is to check it out? Everything in there looks all in there. I don't know how they're selling, so I need to check it out again. 14 15 pound. So, there we are. My whole pickup for 26th of August 2017. I hope this video has given you a bit of encouragement and you've learned one or two things watching this video. Please uh, click like, subscribe and comment button. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button for future videos and please comment on them. Um, if you're thinking of selling shoes or trainers, they look difficult, but it's very easy to clean them. And sometimes what I do, I don't, I don't, um, I wouldn't tell you to do it, but I do it. I use things like uh, 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 cream and, and use um, often I put them in washing machine using a pillowcase I stick in the pillowcase put them in washing machine and, and to believe it or not they do come out sparkling but I, I would not recommend you to do that don't put it because if you, you only use washing machine if you know what you're doing. I want, tend to use cream cleaner to clean these up. Or use... Um, a bit of fairy liquid. Once again, thank you so much for watching.